to the YouTube channel. We are here for Friday night football at the MCG. It's the D's taking on the Bombers. I brought this ragtag bunch along with me. Me and Mita Bowl go to a lot of Bombers and D's games. <laughs> Mita, how are you feeling? I think we're one and one from Don's D's. Yeah. 2019, Don's. Yep. Last year, D's. This year, Don's. Well, you've got a nice little theory about the 0-3 start for the Bombers. There's been a couple of times the Bombers have almost started 0-3. They've come up against the Ds and gotten their first win on the board. They haven't started 0-3 since, like, 67 or something. So. It's an absurd start. It's always start. the Ds. Whenever we're 0-2, we beat the Ds. So, tonight... Well, what out. is your official prediction for tonight? Dons by 11. Oh, nice. Really good. Archie Perkins, four goals. I'm going to tip... I'm going to tip the D's by 23. Who are you backing? What's your tip? I'm going to go D's by 18. I reckon Clayton Oliver's going to take the literal. Have a really good game. Oh, nice. And Trezor, who are you tipping for tonight? I reckon D's by 14. Hey. Uh, What's going on here? Cosy Pickett to kick four. Sammy Weed marks another and he's lining up for his second shot of goal. Yes, Sammy! It's got to be good for a man's confidence. Taking a couple of masks, a couple of shots on goal and he converts his second one. The Ds are up by seven points early in the first. Quarter time here at the MCG. The Ds are up 3-5-23 to the Bombers 0-4-4. Scrappy affair. It's very windy here at the G. A lot of skill errors. I think the weed missed a couple from directly in front. It is just swirling, an absolute breeze and a half. Pretty impressed with the start of the game. I think we won the territory battle. I think we're on top in most areas of the game, but the Dons are a team you want to just put to bed because, I don't know, it feels like they can be lethal when they want to be, especially with Stringer and the like streaming forward. So, pretty professional performance in the first turn, but we've got to keep it up for the rest of the game. Come on, Dogger Dean. lining up, but Dogger also sitting next to us. <laughs> Finish. Very swirly conditions. Both teams have been inaccurate in front of the goals, but Tommy Cutler gets the Dons first on the board. Ten minutes into the second, it's only 14 points here at the G. Two meter petri dish goes bang. The Bombers have two in a minute. Hope two meter goes bang, and the Bombers are back within eight points. Tom Sparrow kicks this, I feel. Tommy from 45. Get around him. Sparrow finishes from 45, the D's, we needed that, we're back out to 15 after the Bombers started pretty well in this second turn. Half time here at the G and the D's are only in front by a frustrating nine points, I feel like we should be ahead by a lot more. Just in terms of control on the game, I know that the Bombers have missed a couple of shots just like us, but in terms of territory and the game control, I feel like it's all been Melbourne and it's only frustrating if we drop this, like if we let this slip then we will rue the opportunities in the first half, despite it being a real blustery game. Two meter for the second of the turn for the Dons. They're in front! The Dons go bang, bang, start of the second half. I kicked the last two or three. And they're in front, and I'm fuming. I'm genuinely fuming. We shouldn't be in this position, but we are. Two meter to extend the lead. Bonds up by nine. I am fuming here at the G. <laughs> Arms to reduce the margin, start of the third. We need this, Armsy. We are desperate for a snag. Oh, it's a beautiful shoot, Jimmy boy. Armsy goes bang from 50. He's kicked the D's second in a row, and we're back in front. He's kicking from the Dom Sheed pocket. In blustery conditions, I wouldn't have thought so, Sam. Sam Sheed! <laughs> he needs to be perfect! He is! He is Sammy Weed! That was a big time goal from Sam Sheed. Sam Sheed Weed, if you don't mind. Package kicks one, reduce it to five points here in the third. It is a frustrating game of football. The Dons aren't going away. The package caused us headaches last year. This for two in a row for the package and for the lead back for the Essendon Football Club.
He's humbling. He's very humbling. Oh, I hate it. I hate every bit of this. Come on, weed. We need this. Yes, Sammy! Three quarter time, chilly conditions here at the G. The D's are up by 13 points. It's not over. The Bobbles will come home with a wet sail. It's going to be one of those just messy sort of last terms where we're just going to try and suppress it, try and defend as hard as we can. Hopefully we can kick a couple just to put it with the doubt, but yeah, it's going to be one of those terms where we're just going to have to knuckle down and get the job done. I think Sammy Wee's been really good for us. He's been a, a likely to target with Benny Brown out, so I've enjoyed his work. We just need a couple of goals, finish it off and get the job done, but I feel like if I know the Bombers, it ain't over. Spargo rolls in, kicks the D's 10th. We're up by 17 points. Got to keep it going, it's still early in this last turn. I thought the D's had kicked a couple of sealers, but with seven minutes to go, Peter Wright's looking for the Bombers second in a row to reduce it to a couple of kicks. Two meter Peter. The Bombers, it's 12 points. It's, it's 12 points. It's 12, 12 points. And there's like, there's six, six or seven minutes left. Two meters going bananas here at the G's, lining up to reduce it to a goal. Peter Wright. Oh, he's missed. And Langer's kicked a miracle. Pulled one right out of his ass. He's bent it the wrong way. The maths. No. The maths! Ed Langdon will never kick a goal like that in his life. That was an absolute tin ass shot from the grandstands. It's bent the wrong way. And that's, that's potentially the game. Come on! to go three and zip to start the season. An amazing performance in a blistery cold condition to the G. Another day, another day, another dollar. Uh, they got the ch got the chockies, the boys. They got the job done. We've, to we've taken Luke McDonald home with us. Uh, <laughs> Luke McDonald. <laughs> Luke Jackson. Luke Jackson. Oh, Luke McDonald's in career. McDonald plays in North, doesn't he? Oh, he does. He's, he's in career best form though. Um, yeah. Jeez. Bit chilly. Bit chilly conditions. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Nah, we got there in the end. Oh, we better sign off. Great dub by the boys in the cold, wintry conditions at the MCG. Um, Shutting the spa up this, I would have thought. Yeah, I would have thought. We'll get nice and warm. Yeah, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. I appreciate everyone watching. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.